Hi, it's Carmen. Thailand is known as the land of smiles. Welcome to the land of smiles. Smiles go on for miles and miles. Smiles for all occasions here. The so proud green spreads ear to ear. Come to Thailand, stay a while. The I'm so very polite kind of smile. The I'm so happy I'm crying face. The smile while struggling shows such grace. The look at me. Sorry, that joke's not funny. Smile, facial expressions of every sort. A sad smile's for a bad report. A teasing smile says, told you so. This one says wrong, not the way to go. The I'm upset, but smiling anyway. Smile, the please don't cry over spilt milk. Smile, here's the cup. in Southern California. This is Channel 4 News at 4. It's President Clinton in a pickup game of basketball. He's competing with local kids from South Central Los Angeles, and he is here trying to score some points as the people's president. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm John Beer. I'm Linda. That bomb scare in North Hollywood. This is Today in L.A. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Today in L.A. It is Tuesday. It's May the 10th. I'm Kathy Vara. And I'm Ken Shocknick. We're going to start off our second half hour of news with an update on your weather from Christopher. And Christopher, this morning you are at Mount Wilson awaiting the annular eclipse coming up. I, oh boy, I tell you, Ken, it is cold up here. Live in Southern California, this is Channel 4 News Weekend. Storm clouds have been hovering off the coast for days now. Well, tonight they have finally come up. Lots of uh, news going on in the next 90 minutes. We'll get to in just a second. Live in Southern California, this is Channel 4 News at 5. This man says he is too sick to work, he is too ill to walk, but here he is. He is crossing the street. Channel 4 News. Coverage you can count on. Now, live in Southern California, this is Channel 4 News at 6. On the stand. And a talk show leads to a vicious murder. Full details when the news begins one minute from now. You are watching Channel 4 News. Coverage you can count on. Now, live in Southern California, this is Channel 4 News at 11. Torrents of rain hit the Southland tonight. These cars are trying to make their way through the mess and the mud that is Malibu. Good evening, everybody. It's 11 o'clock, and I'm Paul Moyer. And I'm Kelly Lang. At 11 o'clock tonight, we've been waiting. Now, Chuck Henry, Kelly Lang, Fritz Coleman Weather, Fred Rogan Sports, on Southern California's number one station for news, the Channel 4 News at 4. Now, Paul Moyer, Colleen Williams, Fritz Coleman Weather, Fred Rogan Sports on Southern California's number one station for news. Channel 4 News at 5. You are looking at the... You are watching Paul Moyer, Colleen Williams, Fritz Coleman Weather, Fred Rogan Sports on Southern California's number one station for news. Channel 4 News at 11. Dozens of police officers from SWAT team. Live from NBC4, the station working for you. Kent Shockton, Kathy Vara. Christopher Nance, AccuWeather, and Paul Johnson, Metro Traffic. This is Today in L.A., Southern California's number one morning news. Good. Live from...
from NBC4, the station working for you. Kent Shopnick, Kathy Vara, Christopher Nance AccuWeather. Southern California's number one news, the Chime. From NBC4, the station working for you. Kent Shotnick, Kathy Vara, and Paul Johnson AccuWeather. Southern California's number one news, the Channel 4 News at 11 a.m. Live from NBC4, the station working for you. Southern California's number one news, the Channel 4 News at 4. Good afternoon, and we have two top stories this afternoon to tell you about. First, an all-out assault on a huge fire at a commercial building. Flames shooting through the roof, as you can see. A fight made even more difficult by a metal roof and down electrical wires off Highway 39 in the Angeles National Forest. That's where a sports utility vehicle plunged over the side. A few are Bob Petty's overhead, the accident scene in the Angeles National Forest. Bob, what can you show us? Well, Kent, you know the curved highway up here. That's sports utility vehicle carrying a man and a woman. Crank turns deadly. A teenager is shot and killed by a homeowner. Now new details on this tragic ending live at 4.30. Don't laugh. We've thought about it. A huge sure blast have. rips apart a candy store. One person is killed today. The explosive discovery made by detectives. Is the new Catholic cathedral strong enough to survive an earthquake? Its secret weapon revealed next. Also, nine strangers living under one. Did you do this? Boyer TV, later at 4. You're watching the Channel 4 News at 4. Honored with the Emmy as Southern California's best newscast. For the second time in less than four weeks, an explosion of illegal fireworks has claimed a life in Mexico. This blast happened last night at a candy store that was selling illegal fireworks. One person was killed, two others were hurt. Three nearby homes were also damaged in that blast. Late last month, a similar accidental explosion of illegal... Kelly Lang, Chuck Henry, Fritz Coleman AccuWeather, Fred Rogan Sports. This is the Emmy-winning Channel 4 News at 4. We start off here. Coleman AccuWeather, Fred Rogan Sports News at 4.30. Live from NBC4, the station working for you. Paul Moyer, Colleen Williams, Fritz Coleman AccuWeather, Fred Rogan Sports. Southern California's number one news, the Channel 4 News at 5. Live from NBC4, the station working for you. Paul Moyer, Colleen Williams, Fritz Coleman AccuWeather, Fred Rogan Sports. Southern California's number one news, the Channel 4 News at 5.30. Live from NBC4, the station working for you. Chuck Henry, Kelly Mack, Fritz Coleman AccuWeather, Fred Rogan Sports. Southern California's number one news, the Channel 4 News at 6.00. Live from NBC4, the station working for you. Paul Moyer, Colleen Williams, Fritz Coleman AccuWeather, Fred Rogan Sports. Southern California's number one news, the Channel 4 News at 11. Where the news comes first. This is WKTV, Channel 2, Dick Lawler, Teresa Lee, and Skywatch meteorologist Rich Lubia. News Channel 2 at daybreak begins now. Good morning. It is Monday, January the 29th, and welcome to Daybreak. In the news, one local family prepared to become $10 million richer on Super Bowl Sunday. But what would uh, Publishers Clearinghouse make it? Game day, a big... Enough to dethrone, save the last dance. And there is no joy in the Big Apple this morning. The Giants were beaten in Super Bowl. Brian is up next. top stories, the most complete local news, from Central New York's news leaders, Bill Wharton, Susan Tran, Vic Fetters, they're the anchors who know Central New York, straightforward. The woman who escaped from a makeshift cell in Rome has been arrested. News Channel 2, where the news comes first. Way just enough so the moose had some space to get free. At first it looked like he had injured a leg, but he finally stood up and walked away. Mm. Poor guy. <laughs> Still ahead this morning, Robert Downey Jr. faces the court system on and off the set of the show, Alec Mathiel. More on the Hollywood Scoop when Daybreak continues, but first here's a look at last night's winning lottery numbers.
Good morning, once Live from NBC4, the station working for you. Southern California's number one news, the Channel 4 News at 4. Good afternoon, and we... The news comes first. This is WKTV News Channel 2. Bill Worden, Sarah Allen, Skywatch meteorologist Matt DiNardo, and Ryan Burr Sports. News Channel 2 at 11 begins now. Where the news comes, this is WKTV Channel 2. Bill Worden and Susan Tran. News Channel 2 at 11 begins now. One local gram is flourishing tonight at a time when budgets are threatening to cut others. We're watching out for you. This is News 3 at Sunrise with Marie Mortera and Luis Cruz. Welcome to News 3 at Sunrise. We're watching out for you. This is News 3 Today with Maria Silva and Luis Cruz. And Dana Wagner, Chief Meteorologist John Fredericks. And Traffic with Chopper Tom Hawley. You're watching News 3 Today. with Ina Wagner, meteorologist John Fredericks, and traffic with Tom Hawley. You're watching News 3 Today. Good afternoon. I'm Maria Silva in for Sue Manteras today. We're watching out for you. This is... Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. We've got you covered. For Tucson, live at six. Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight. A mother makes a desperate plea for information about the whereabouts of her son. 16 year old Joshua Anderson has been missing. Investigating for you. You're watching News for Tucson. You're watching John Overall, Angelique Lazardi. Sports Director Paul Sicala and Chief Meteorologist Matt Bro. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 10. Great time to remind everyone to protect your belongings. According to statistics from one insurance company here in Arizona, thieves break into more homes. When we take in those stolen items, Lupita Murillo has the details. Based on insurance claims over the last decade, this month is when thieves burglarize homes and cause emotional and financial damage. Burglars aren't just targeting homes, but vehicles as well, and then head to pawn shops. Property and theft. Hi, Joel Nichols in the heart of Kansas City. You know Kansas he's not in front of the camera. A Halloween prank becomes a case of murder. A teenager is killed. A man behind bars. We'll have the story live as the news continues at 4.30. You're watching the Southland's number one news, the Channel 4 News at 4.30. It began as a Halloween prank and ended with gunfire. Now a teenager is dead, a grounding... ...in a park, and that's where we'll find Vicki Vargas. Vicki? Chuck, neighbors tell us they did. Boy, Roger, King of the Cowboys. Dale Evans, what? You know what it was? For the theaters on Friday. And we're going to wind things up uh, this afternoon with some really good news, and that is that Dale Evans is back home now. She had a pacemaker implanted. As you know, she was very ill for a while. She's 86 years old. She was the former wife of the uh, wife of Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys. And Dale Evans was, you know what it was? 